Hey guys, I'm out here hiking on a beautiful day today. This is Dawn from Southpaw Bushcraft and you're watching Deranged Survival. This is Eric with the Rain Survival, and today I'm just doing a day hike. Uh, yesterday I climbed Mount Isolation in New Hampshire. It's a 4,000 footer. Uh, it's 4,004 feet in elevation, and I climbed that yesterday with my buddies. Total of 13.33 miles up and down. It's quite exhausting. It took about 12 hours roughly. So let me show you a couple pictures and some views from the top of the mountain. I didn't do much filming because we were focused on getting up and down. It was a long hike, but we made it to the top. Exhausted, came home, slept, woke up, I'm back on the trail again. I don't give up, guys. My legs are hurting, my shoulders hurt, but I'm doing it again. I love nature. So here's some video footage of that trip and some pictures. First day of spring, out here with Cow, we're doing some exploring, and yeah, stay tuned for my adventure. <laughs> Excuse me, humans, why do you do this? Stop it! So some people come in nature and focus on trekking X amount of miles or reaching a specific destination. But sometimes it's good to just go slow, take your time, and check out the scenery around you. Sometimes it's not much, but just a stream trickling in the background, the diversity of trees. This is the beginning of spring. I think some people forget that nature is all around us. All the different weeds that you see grow on the side of the road, the majority of those are actually edible and medicinal. The more research you do, the more you learn. Sometimes it's nice just to come out, relax, enjoy the sights and sounds. What do you think, Kyle? <laughs> and as I'm walking along, look what I discovered. What the heck is that? Some antlers from a deer, I'm assuming. Pretty cool. Take it home. I'm gonna wear it on my head. Hey, I'm gonna wear it just like this. <laughs> Maybe there's a carcass around here somewhere. So, I'm gonna make some lunch out here today. I'm gonna show you guys the cooking pot that I use now. Uh, you've probably seen it in other videos, but I use it pretty frequently. It's awesome. I think I got it for two bucks. Thrift store. And uh, I'll show you what I did to it to modify it just slightly. All right, guys, time to get the fire going. Cleared out a little space over here. Got my little pot. Got some chicken with some pasta and sauce. Cost a dollar. A little bit of butter in there. Got my tinder pouch here. Got a little tin with char cloth. And I got my uh, flint and steel kit. I'm in a little pouch here. So I got this kit from River Valley Survival and Bushcraft. Thanks again, brother. He actually sent me this buckskin. I cut it out in a circle and threaded some leather through it. Made a little pouch. So we got a couple different stones there. I actually found this one uh, in my area here and he gave me these three stones here. Got the piece of steel. So we got the char cloth here. Uh, he actually made this out of denim. 
or the jean material. So I'm going to use one piece here. He also gave me a flint napping kit. I just keep the antler on there. I don't have the napping kit with me here. But I got a bunch of birch bark here. This is my tinder pouch. I'm going to process some of this down. But that's my first uh, flint and steel fire there. And I just used birch bark, pieces of flint, some char cloth, and the steel. I didn't have a bird's nest or nothing like that, just birch bark. All right guys, it's lunchtime. So I just uh, fashioned a pot handle really quick. That, that branch is actually a live tree. Uh, unfortunately, it fell over already, so I just grabbed a larger piece off of it there. But I'm boiling some water. I'm gonna be cooking this. I normally don't eat this stuff, but the main reason I don't eat this stuff is because uh, look at all those ingredients. Too many for me. But I'm hungry, that's what I got. I'm eating it, one buck. So normally I usually cook on a bed of coals, but I figured I'd try this method, see what happens. So the water's boiling now, I'm just gonna move this over. Out of the flame. I don't really need this fire for anything else. Yummy stuff. Good old processed food. I just realized I don't even have a spoon. A little bit of butter wrapped in some paper wax. Alright, just mix it all up. Looks a little soupy, huh? I think I did it wrong. I think you're supposed to boil it with the stuff in it. Whoops. We'll let that sit. So, I'm a man. I don't read instructions. You're supposed to boil the contents and then let it sit for two minutes after. So it's a little bit soupy. So I'm just gonna let it sit on a bed of coals. Hopefully it'll thick it up. One thing I did in this pot when I was at my house, I took a measuring cup and I basically measured the height. So there's a little scratch right here on the bottom and you probably can't see it. Uh, you probably can see this one a little bit better. That's four cups of water. That scratch, that scratch is two cups of water. And up to these two little dimples here, it's actually six cups of water. So that's uh, something I recommend you guys do with your cooking equipment. You know, just measure it out, make a little indentation. You don't want to use a marker or something like that, but just, you know, scratch a little bit of the metal. And you can even do it on water bottles too. So this is thickening up a little bit, and I'm gonna eat this with a stick, because I didn't bring a spoon or nothing. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pack up and head on out. It's looking a little thicker now, so I'm just gonna let it simmer. Leave the lid off there. Put out the fire. All right guys, this is the end of the video. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, I just wanna say thank you Dawn from South Paul Bushcraft. If you guys don't know her and Jesse, go check them out. Appreciate it, I'm doing the intro for me. And uh, hopefully this thing, will be ready for me to eat. I'm gonna have to eat it with a stick. But definitely go check out uh, Dawn and Jesse from South Paul Bushcraft. They're awesome. They've been a supporter of my channel for a very long time and I really appreciate it. My lunch is over, or dinner. It's getting a little dark now. 
and I'm heading on out. So go check out Southport Bushcraft when you get a chance. I'll leave the link in the description. I appreciate you all for watching. Please comment below, let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I shall see you in the next one. Yeah!